Today we're going to be doing a complete smoke alarm system test of this newly built home. We have some canned smoke options for today. I have a little bit of smoke centurion left and then just a little bit of solo A4 left. And if we run out of canned smoke options, well there are other options to finish out testing the rest of the units. In the house there are a bunch of these Fire X i4618 smoke alarms. They are, in my opinion, one of the cheaper options that are out on the market. They're all ionization. Um, and then there also is one Kita 30 CU AR Detect Series smoke alarm. And that one is a photoelectric dual smoke and carbon monoxide. However, we will only be testing the smoke portion today just because we only have canned smoke. But a lot of times when you test smoke alarms just with the test button, it will only test the alarm circuitry. So I like smoke testing units just because it tests not only the alarm but also the sensor. They are all hardwired and we will be doing a complete system test. Let's get started. We'll test out this Fire X1. This one is located in the master bedroom. Here we go. Moving on to the next one, this is the Kitty Detect model. There's a wide range of models within this series, and this one is the one that has dual smoke and carbon monoxide and is hardwired, but it does not have the voice feature. Anyways, this one is photoelectric, and yes, it does have a carbon monoxide sensor in it. That is because my jurisdiction requires carbon monoxide alarms, at least one of them, to be installed in a newly built home. So that is why this unit was installed by the builders of this home. In the last 10 years, there was a big push to get carbon monoxide alarms required to be installed. So my jurisdiction was one of them that now requires these carbon monoxide units to be installed. And it is kind of nice because this unit is a photoelectric unit as well. The kitchen is just right over there. And it kind of also requires these installers to install an alarm that is a little bit more expensive and might have photoelectric capabilities as well. So. I do like that there is at least one alarm in this house that is not ionization. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and test it out with some smoke, some canned smoke. There we go. Smoke alarms are required to be installed on every level of the home and inside and outside of every single bedroom. So we have a few more here, one more in this bedroom, and then we have another outside of this bedroom, and then we have another bedroom over here, and we have one inside of that bedroom. The placement on this one would be perfect only if I think it were just a little bit further away from this flow path right here with this air vent. It's fine where it's at technically as far as code, but I think if I were an installer, I, put a, I probably would have put it a little bit more towards the center of the room. Let's go ahead and test this one out. Here we go. Oh, it should have a silence feature. It should stop. <laughs> Looks like it only works for a few seconds when it senses a lot of smoke. If you ever can't get your smoke alarms to stop, wave something around at it to move the air around the, the unit and it will push all the particles out of it, its sensor and hopefully stop the alarm from going off. I would try that after pushing the button on it because 
usually the button will stop the alarms from going off, but if they keep going off, it means it's just too smoky. I also would like it if this one were mounted up here instead of on this drop down right here because smoke and heat rise and if that's where the gases are then that's where I want the alarms. Here's the one outside of the bedrooms. Let's give it a test. That worked quickly. You can hear that kitty one upstairs still going off. That one has a little bit of a delay. All right, and then let's test out this last one in this bedroom. Here we go. Gotta make sure I got my angle right. There we go. And that concludes all the testing of the smoke alarms in this newly built home. I highly recommend everyone does that in their homes, testing smoke alarms with canned smoke. Not real fire because that can be dangerous, but canned smoke is safe. And that way you would know that everything, all the units in your house are working. And for this test, we actually were able to complete everything with just this single can of smoke centurion which i can just tell it's running out but i do have enough i guess so that's actually kind of nice i didn't even have to break into the solo all right everyone i think that's going to be enough testing for today thank you all for watching this video take care of your smoke alarms they should be replaced every 10 years if you found any of this interesting definitely check out some of my other videos and please have a great day